All right, we've got our Sun Founder box here. I'm going to open this up. Go into here. A number of items. The order that they come out may be a little different than yours. But we have our series of jumpers here. One end, we have pins and sockets. And another set with pins and pins. Okay. We have our USB cable to plug the uh, computer into the Arduino. Speaking of Arduino, here it is in this nice little box. You can open it up. Take it out. There you go. And this is the Sun Founder Uno. All Arduino compatible. And we've got, let's see, a joystick here with its top hat. We'll take that out. And we've got two resistors. There's one and there's the other. And then if you push down on here you've got a switch. So what we'll do is line this up, put the little top hat on it, and you push down. You can feel a little action there. That's for switch and you've got Y and you've got X movement here. Put that down. Now we've got another one. And take that out of its baggie. Put the top hat on it. And we're good to go with that. Now you've got some resistors in here. And we've got 10K and 1K. The 1K, you've got brown, black, red. And that's the resistor value for 1K. And the 10K we have got brown, black, orange. Okay. You should have a little prototyping board. That'll help you in uh, plugging in, making connections between the sensors and the uh, Arduino. Little baggie here with red, green, and yellow LEDs. One thing about LEDs, they come and they're identified You've got a short pin. Let me take this out of here. Take one out. And you can see that one pin is short and the other pin is long. The short pin is a negative pin. The long pin is a positive pin. And there's also a flat on these LEDs. Well, these particular LEDs don't have a flat that I can see and so we'll have to go with the short pin and long pin okay put those out here now this is a little extension header we can use this for putting into the uh, proto board and then plugging in some of the terminal wires onto them if needed now come our various sensors we'll get to the easiest ones first the potentiometers. You should have two of them. Here's a buzzer. Okay. And I'll be showing you pictures of these in detail in the next module so you can go through and check these all off. Okay, this is an analog hall sensor. And it looks very similar, but this is an analog temperature sensor. Now this little module here is a light sensor, and you can tell, let's see, you can kind of see the little uh, squiggly sensor that's there. And that will uh, be the light sensor. Okay, this looks like another Hall sensor. And I believe this one is a temperature sensor. They all look very similar, so we will need some details in a little bit. And this may be a different type of temperature sensor here. 
Okay, we've got a push button, little push button switch here. Should be another one in here. Yes, there it is. There's the second push button switch. Okay. Uh, third and fourth. There's four push button switches in here. Now also in your package, you should have a thermistor. I'll show you a photo of that. And we'll have this bag in it that will be a display bag. And have this bag here, and this has your little Sane Smart display. I need to get a pair of scissors to open this up. Okay. Cut that, tear that open. And bring this out and this will be the little display that will fit on your it'll fit on top of your Arduino and you'll be able to see exactly what's going on now this display you see the pins back here are a little bent so I'm gonna to have to straighten those pins out and make sure that they're nice and straight so that they'll plug in properly into the Arduino that happened during shipping, so I'll work on this to get these pins nice and straight. And then I can plug it into the Arduino. Now, if you look at the Arduino, okay, if you go this way, it doesn't fit. All right, let's turn it around, and I see that the pins fit here. The right number of pins, we're just missing two pins here, so don't be alarmed by that. So that will plug in. And then we come over here, and all these line up. So it looks like I adjusted my pins correctly, so everything will snap together. And now my display is connected to the Arduino. I'm going to come over here and get the USB cable. Undo this. This connector will plug into your computer. And this end into the Arduino. Right here. There we go. So now this Arduino and the display is ready to plug into the uh, laptop. And in your next assignment, I'll have photos and everything for you to go through and mark off each one of the sensor items.